Hey guys, welcome back. Before I say anything in this video, let me let me say this. Um, do not laser these dry. At least I would not suggest it. Um, this this went from just one little ember to uh, to fully on fire in about four seconds. Um, <clears throat> not something you want to have happen uh, while you're you're scrolling through Instagram and your laser's burning. So burn these a little damp. And this happened so fast that if I had not been actually sitting in front of my laser, um, this could have been bad. I got on top of this rather quickly. Uh, the second I saw just excess smoke and I started seeing uh, embers in there, I hit the stop button, raised the, pan raised the lid, and doused this with some water. But this happened just over, over a matter of seconds. So for those people that were uh, telling me in the Facebook group, uh, to dampen this up a little bit, they know what they're talking about. Uh, don't do this dry. It, it's like a grass fire. You, all you got to do is, you know, light one blade and the whole thing goes up. With that said, let's get into the meat and potatoes of this video. Hey guys, welcome back. Um, so recently I did uh, this doormat <clears throat> on our laser and I posted a picture of it um, to a Facebook group and I noticed that there were uh, a lot of people interested in doing this as well. Um, but I also got some, some uh, interesting comments from some users, uh, specifically uh, Felicia Nickel. Um, and, uh, and check out her Instagram, it's pretty cool. It's, uh, it's lasered by uh, Felicia, lasered by underscore Felicia on Instagram. Um, she's got some million stuff on her Instagram. But she recommended that we use Borax on the surface of this uh, of this coir doormat to get a darker burn, um, I've seen people do this on uh, on wood, and so I, I think that it would work just as fine here. Now I've got a, a brand new um, a brand new coir doormat. Uh, one of the the biggest questions was where do I get it? I got this at Home Depot. Uh, it was ten dollars basically after tax. Um, and uh, it, it measures 18 by 30. This is bigger than what I want to use it for today. Um, I make these uh, these dog feeders here uh, that have this uh, slide out drawer. If you're interested in this, uh, check out our Etsy. It's at the Web Ranch um, on Etsy, and we sell those there. But I think what I want to do is I, I want to make a small mat to go in front of here for my mom. Uh, for her dog and I'll put the dog's name on it, but I don't want it to be this big um, And since we're testing out here I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start out by cutting this mat down into fourths uh, This is an 18 by 30 mat So I'm going to cut it down to 18 by seven and a half inch strips and then we'll have four strips to mess around with we're going to try using this um, uh, Borax here we're going to mix it 10% uh, by volume with water, so 10% uh, borax and 90% um, water. So I have a spray bottle around here somewhere. Uh, it's one of those things that you move um, a thousand times because uh, it's in your way and then when you need it you can't find it. So I'm just going to put uh, a bit of borax in here into this uh, basically this condiment dispenser and you'll see I've got about uh, I don't know about three quarters of an inch um, of borax in there and I'm just going to fill the rest up with water. Alright so I filled up the rest of this uh, condiment bottle here with water and I'm just going to shake this really well all right using this cold water I've had to shake this um, for uh, quite a bit longer than I wanted to but I think that we're pretty close uh, to having almost almost all the borax dissolved in here and I'm just going to start uh, kind of saturating this mat with this borax solution. All 
All right, so after my little mishap um, catching the last one on fire, I've decided this is, this is our mat with the borax. And I've decided not to let this thing dry out completely. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to laser this a little damp. Um, it, it, it feels dry to the touch, but you can tell that, that there's still some moisture in there. And I'm hoping that that, um, that works a little better, a little safer. Uh, like I said, the one I burned up, um, I did have it accidentally on two, two passes. And I think that's what did it. But let's try this one with the borax. All right, so here is the first doormat that I tried on the laser. Um, again, I did this dry, which now I don't recommend, but um, I did this dry 750 millimeters uh, per minute, 40% um, power, just one pass. Um, it did engrave, uh, and when I say engrave, I mean it did shorten the fibers uh, in this a little bit, um, but not a whole lot. This was without borax okay now here's the one that i just did with borax and the first thing you can tell is that they're not the same color anymore um, the borax i think darkened the the coir fibers um, this has been out in the sun drying for uh, a good two hours so i don't think it's damp anymore I think, um, I think the borax actually darkened it up. You can tell how big of a difference there is. But <clears throat> you can also tell that there's a huge difference in the darkness of the, um, the laser burn itself. Now, after, uh, after I, I, I burned up one, and I'll show that to you in just a second, um, I decided that it, it was just a, a smarter idea to <clears throat> go ahead and laser this a little bit damp. Um, so I, I dampened it up a, a little bit and uh, not soaked it, just dampened it. And then I did it on the laser. But what that means, or what that meant, is that I had to adjust my speed a bit. Um, I, I left it at 40% power, uh, but I brought the speed down to 500 millimeters per second. Uh, and I got this nice, this nice dark burn. Again, not, not a huge difference um, in the depth. Of, of the fibers, it, it took off the very tips of them, um, but, uh, but not a real deep engraving. To, uh, to see if, if I could get it a little further, I did the paws. I did two passes on these little paw prints, um, and, uh, and there, was no, there was no significant uh, change in depth there. So <clears throat> there you have it. Uh, clearly Borax works on, on these as well. That's it for this video. In the next video, I'm going to be taking this uh, granite slab, uh, which is basically a, a tile uh, made of granite, and I'm going to try to make some coasters out of it for our shop uh, so that when people come in uh, and, and sit down their drinks, we can use them as display items, but as well uh, as, uh, as functional items for people to set their drinks on. So we'll do that next, and we'll see what our laser can do on granite. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please hit that subscribe button so you can see when we put out new videos. Appreciate you watching and we'll see you next time.